I don't think Mike Rice will hesitate to go to his bench. Chappelle from three. Got it! In the quarterfinals. Brian Geffen. Ruddy, second in the country in offensive rebounding, and he puts it back by three. Johnson finds an open Jeremy Baker for three. Morris won both meetings earlier this season. Bateco Francisco for three. There's someone who has to get some shots. He's a good outside shooter, and they rely on him for some offense. Chappelle from Francisco. Jeremy Chappelle, the NEC Player of the Year, is so hot in the early going. He has 11 points, and Robert Morris takes their largest lead. Feldine has been quiet. His three is good. Over the different looking lineup, Joe Whitehead is in there along with Gary Wallace, Pateco Francisco. Here's Ruddy for the jam. Again, they got Francisco's had a nice first half, so is Chappelle. Had a good look, albeit from deep. Here's Langhurst, who hits the three. And again, Tom Horton. Here's Iram. Green on the third opportunity. Now Feldine right there and just didn't get a body in front of him as he gets out on the outlet break. Feldine a tough angle with three defenders on him and Robert Morris calls time all with it. Chappelle, oh wow, what a first half for Jeremy Chappelle. 17 points and his team takes their largest lead going into the locker room. 40 to 27, Robert Morris big here in the first half. Season. You mentioned that 83 team here at Robert Morris as Francisco hits a three and Robert Morris just can't be stopped right now. Just a little bit more time on the clock. Feldeen firing. Ruddy, another offensive rebound. He's into double figures in rebounding and he lays it in. Well, he's doing as much as he can. Now here's the Jumper good for Rob Robinson. The second half, they led by 13 at the break. They've led by as many as 18, and now it's showtime. Langhurst, oh, to Rob Robinson. Oh, the ball, they're on an eight to one run. Laid in by Messier Nuigwe. Quinnipiac out of their offensive flow. Johnson does his best Curly Neal impersonation and then drops it from 15. Well, again, he's got to look back in the season. All the injuries to be in the semifinals where they are. There are only two seniors on this team. Everybody else is coming back. And what else is new? We are just pouring down threes here, folks, in Moon Township. Chappelle. The Chappelle Show indeed tonight in Moon Township as Robert Morris wins it 75 to 48 to advance to the Northeast Conference Final for the first time since the year 2000. Tino is standing by with the Player and Coach of the Year in the NEC. Well, thanks very much, David. As you can see, the fans are really loving this team, and why not? They're going to the NEC Championship game. Mike Rice standing by. Just a second, Mike. We'll get to you in a moment. Jeremy Chappelle, 25 points. When you have it going early in the first half, can you just feel it that you want that ball because you can't wait to shoot it again? Yeah, I mean, I was feeling it. I was, I was feeling it at the beginning of the game, and uh, I was just trying to do whatever I could for the team to, to win tonight. And uh, I was feeling it. You know, they were making their runs, but I, I feel like I had to step up in order for my team to win. You know, coach told me before the game that you're the motor that makes practice go. After what happened in the semifinals last year, when you guys got beaten by Mount St. Mary's, how important is it for you to go to the NCAA's this year? It's very important for me. You know, I, I felt I was devastated last year. You know, we lost in the semifinals and, and, and we, we didn't play as hard as we should have. And, and for, for us to come out and win the way we did tonight, you know, that's proven that we have grown so much. I thought you played as well as you could play today. So how much better do you have to be to beat Sacred Heart or Mount St. Mary's? Yeah, we have to play defense. We have to play defense the way we did. You know, we, we stopped them in the second half and that was, that was our key. You know, we have to play defense and that's what we strive on. How much of a home court advantage is it for you to have the finals here? Because you only lost two games here all year. It's, it's big. It's real key. You know, we got all the fans behind us, and, and we, got, we got home court advantage, basically. We have, we have more fans, and, and it's real big for us. He is the NEC Player of the Year, Jeremy Chappelle. He showed us why this afternoon. Jeremy, congratulations. Best of luck. Thank you.
Okay, we turn to coach Mike Rice. Mike, you didn't have a smile on your face until 18 seconds remained on the clock. I took notice of that. Yeah, sure. You're just a real intense guy, huh? I try to keep focused, because if I'm not focused, how are my 19, 20, 21 year olds guys going to be focused? But I thought we won the first half with offense, and you know, I just took a glance at the stat sheet. Anytime you hold a, a very talented, well coached team to 20% in the second half, we defended in the second half. So, uh, kind of. They understood the formula, the game plan, and uh, yeah, it was a, a, a great effort by our team tonight. A very dominating win over a very good team, which I think a lot of people thought this was going to be a close game. So I'll ask you what I asked Jeremy. How much better can you play? Again, you just, I don't worry about that. I, I want to win next game. So uh, this team won six out of the last seven. They won, beat a, a tough LIU team uh, at LIU um, twice in the last couple weeks. So. Uh, yeah, it surprised me playing in overtime and then coming and playing the early game. Thanks to TV, thanks for having me. Uh, probably helped us a little bit too. And uh, again, go back uh, two tremendous teams tonight in Mount and Sacred. Uh, not afraid of winning on the road, both veteran teams, and uh, I think it's going to be a very exciting championship game, whoever we play. Well, I know you're not going to tell me what your preference is. You beat both of those teams two times this year. All four of those games were in single digits. So it's going to be a very, very competitive game. But when you look at those two teams, what types of things will you stress to your club no matter who comes in here? Again, defending. In March, you need to defend. March doesn't care if you have the player of the year or the coach of the year. March is about defending, taking care of the ball, and, and, and kind of out-toughing that team. And the only thing I'm hoping tonight is eight overtimes. I want it to be... <laughs> go until at least one o'clock in the morning and have everybody you know banged up and tired but no uh be an interesting game tonight and again if our guys just understand what's made them successful the rest of the year i, I like our chances mike rice congratulations Thank you, Appreciate it. and robert morris is going back to the nec finals with a chance to go to the ncaa's for the first time since 1992 back to you